Hey guys, it's Christina from All Mom Does, and today we wanted to do a really quick little video about how to help you save time in the kitchen. So I know we all spend a lot of time cooking and cleaning in the kitchen, and I just have a few things that if you have them in your kitchen, it's actually gonna help you with prep time and cleanup. Um, if you have any tips, go ahead and comment to share with us so that we can all save time and effort in the kitchen. So one of the first things that I love, and I learned it from Rachel Ray back when I used to have time to watch the Food Network, um, is a garbage bowl. So when I'm cooking, when I'm prepping my food, I will put all my garbage in a bowl so you don't have to go to the garbage can. Usually what I put in here is like the vegetable, like the garbage vegetables and things like that, so I can just run it out to yard waste. Um, now they actually have those compost bins that you just keep on your countertop and then you can put the top on so you don't have to be running that out all the time. But it's a great time-saving tip and it really improves your cleanup time. The other thing, another thing that you need is multiples of your most used utensils. So I know this flies in the face of minimalism and not having more than you need, but I'm gonna show you. So these are my spatulas and there's actually still a couple in the dishwasher. But I use spatulas all the time. I make my son an egg McMuffin for breakfast every morning, and then I probably make my daughter a grilled cheese and for lunch. So I'm just using a lot of spatulas. I don't want to have to clean one if I need one. So just make sure you have a lot of your most used utensils. So I also have a lot of wooden spoons, things like that. But then the things that you don't need, of course, you know, you only need one or two of those things. Here's another fun tip that I have. So whenever you're cooking, you always have to season with salt and pepper, right? So if you're cooking a soup or if you're going to grill chicken breast, you have to pre-season. So I always have a bowl on my counter, just a little spice bowl, and it's mixed salt and pepper. And so it's about three parts salt to one part pepper. Actually, I'm a little more heavy handed on the pepper, so mine is more two to one. But it just sits out all the time. And so that way, when I have to season something, I just grab a little pinch and throw it in. And super simple. You don't have to worry about, you know, getting out your salt and pepper shaker. Just don't measure it. I mean, it's just there all the time. Super, super simple. I also, I also have one for cinnamon and sugar because for a while my kids were really into cinnamon and sugar toast. So if that's something that you do, I'd recommend having that out too. Um, another thing... Obviously, a lot of you probably already have this, but if you don't have an oil bottle, I would strongly recommend getting one. It's so easy to just have on the counter and just kind of dump into your pan when you're cooking. So I know this is a pretty popular item. Most people already have it, but if you don't, run out and get them. They're not expensive, and it really does save you a lot of time. Here's, a, here's a, another one that I really, really like is parchment paper. So... Yes, there's a little more waste if you use parchment paper, but I hate, hate, hate cleaning cookie sheets and pans, and I, do, I, just, I hate doing dishes is the long and short of it. And it's so hard, especially when things are baked on. Parchment paper makes it so easy. You just put it on the top of your baking sheets, and then you bake cookies, or you bake your chicken breast, whatever you're baking, and it's not going to you know, get all crusted onto your your baking sheet making cleanup a whole lot easier. It's gonna go a whole lot faster. And in all honesty, my cooking sheets are not in their best condition. So here's a tip for you folks who haven't been married as long as I have, is when you get married, you get all this great new stuff. And then after you've been married a while, it starts to wear out, nobody buys you new stuff. So you're stuck kind of with the old crummy stuff. So use parchment paper and it'll work just fine again. Um, Let's see. I also like having a really good collection of high quality glass containers in my cupboard and there aren't very many here because a lot of them are in the fridge holding leftovers, but it's just so much easier than that that cabinet that's full of, you know, plastic containers and you can't find the lids and it's nice that they kind of nest more. And it's also really great because when you're heating up your leftovers, just go straight into the microwave and then you can actually just eat straight out of it. So that way you're not... Oh, I have a visitor. <laughs> My three-year-old has decided to join me. Uh, so, I 
lost my train of thought. Oh, so that way it's less dishes. You don't have to worry about. Have a good day. Okay, awesome. just a minute. I'll get you a granola bar. Just a minute, sweetie. Uh, so that way you don't have to do as many dishes. It's also um, you can eat straight out of it. So it just kind of saves you time as far as rooting around finding dishes for your leftovers and then also for reserving it later. And then just a couple super simple things. This is another thing I know most of you have, but if you don't have a spoon rest on your stove, get one because it's really, you know, it prevents a, much less of a mess and I hate cleaning off my stove top. So that's one, another tip. If you don't have it, you probably do, but if you don't, get one. And then the final thing is a trivet. Um, I have this huge like double trivet. I also have a smaller one that usually goes on the dining room table and that we put hot things on there if we're serving at the dining room table. But this is so nice because it, you know, things come straight out of the oven or straight off the burner and straight onto here. And that way you don't have to worry about hot pads and things like that. So I have to go because I have a three year old who really wants a granola bar, but I hope these tips are going to save you some time in the kitchen. And if you have tips yourself that can help us all, um, you know, motherhood is best done in community and we all have secrets and tips that can help each other out. So please share generously and put them in the comments below. Thank you.